As part of efforts to improve the quality of health sector to modern and international standards across the country, Barao Diko Teaching Hospital Kaduna has called on Nigerians to always consult doctors for proper treatments. The Medis call on the deployment of a new digital telemedicine machine to provide easy access to medical care centers in the 23 local government areas and across the country at large. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Durofai filed on this report. There are a high number of people lacking access to good and quality health care facilities that must be addressed urgently and save the lives of patients in local community. The new telemedicine acquired will help address the challenges patients are facing, which will give them 24 hours access. The Kaduna State Commissioner for Health, Hajia Amina Mohamed Baloni, made the disclosure during the launching of telemedicine equipment at Baradiko Teaching Hospital, Kaduna. Experts from here uh, using this machine can, can uh, consult uh, any patient anywhere in Kaduna or even beyond um, where they link up with the hospital uh, they can be able to prescribe they can be able to see what is wrong they can support the doctors on ground where they are it's very important because uh, as you know we have a we don't have uh, a lot of specialists and so it allows them to consult everywhere um, to connect all the wards in the um, LG and you know um, the, our general hospitals are in the LG heads. Most all of them have um, internet connection. Uh, but we, 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 it's something we can advocate to the telecompanies and get them to. But this, this is very timely because um, we need, uh, you know, people in the rural services, uh, rural areas also need services. Also, the chief medical director, Baral Diko, Teaching Hospital Kaduna Professor Abdul Kadar Musa Tabari says use of machine will ease some difficulties and hardship faced by the people before coming to hospital for treatment. Felt uh, we must strive to get that uh, telemedicine services. Even at their homes, they can just link up with their phone devices, handheld devices, or computers. And with this machine, you can see them as if they are in front of you. So that's the beauty of the machine. It's not like other. Uh, virtual meetings uh, up that we have, like Zoom, Teams, and the rest. No, this one, you can see even the minutest detail, if you are a dermatologist, you want to see the minutest detail on the patient. And then again, if the patient, in case the patient is having his doctor somewhere, the doctor needs cons further consultation. The patient, the doctor can put uh, his stethoscope on the chest of the patient, and we have uh, in the machine, an electronic stethoscope that can pick that heart sound and so many other things in the chest as if the patient is there live. However, on her remarks, Dr. Halima Sadia Gumi, who represented the Consent Medic Foundation, promised to bring such machine into the country to help support and improve the country's emergency care, as well as trying to get all the diaspora doctors from Nigeria to participate and come back to help the country. One of the things is, um, you know, the telemedicine is how can we bring a machine, you know, with virtual health now. We can actually support them from the UK, from the US. So it's all about how do we support healthcare in Nigeria with all the ongoing brain drain. Um, we have already started a project actually in Barodico uh, with the emergency department. So I was here last year. Uh, we were supporting them to improve their care for emergency care. They insist that Nigerians must frequently go and check themselves and avoid using medication without a doctor's prescription. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.